Alright, welcome everyone to my gold farming tutorial. Um, as you can see, just straight out of the way, I'm going to show you how to average 21 gold per minute or get 1260 an hour, which is almost double what you can get um, if you just do it straight up what the game gives you. A couple quick um, disclaimers and kind of explanation how this is going to work. This is video one. I'm going to go through the math part of it and show you what you can break down and what your target times are to how to achieve this. And also um, my rune manager and why I use what I use and what to use. Um, to the disclaimer part of that is that I'm not claiming that my way is completely perfect and only about half the runes in your manager you're going to be using anyway in your deck. So um, as you can see there's lots of leeway there. Um, as you'll see when I start showing you about different skills and stuff, it's not as much about the actual rune as about you know the skills and spells that it creates to give you the chance to do this. Um, also on the disclaimer part, I am of course not claiming that I did all of this on my own. Bits of it are taken from here and there, different people, um, but this I've all wrapped up into my big bundle and I have you know fine-tuned it. I've done this lots, lots of trial and error. Um, so that's that. If you have questions and stuff, go ahead and ask. Um, I do have the videos for each level after this, so check those out. Um, and then I'm going to do a video doing it as fast as possible so you can see it all at once in real time. Um, so go ahead and ask the questions if you want in the comment sections. But of course, um, you don't give me the, well, you can use this room or that room because I know. I know. Um, so straight up, once again, you're going to average 21 gold per minute or 12, 16 an hour. So before we do all this, one thing we need to know is how the gold in the game works that Paxnor and Sony are going to give you. You can get up to 8.75 gold per minute on Legendary up to 20 minutes game time rounded down. Um, the cap is on there, of course, so that you don't let the game run forever and you just rack up the gold. Um, it does work when the game is paused, though, as well. Um, this means you know the most you can get for the legendary campaign is 175 because of the cap. But you can also get an epic battle bonus, or and you can get a campaign bonus which is 25. Epic battle bonus is 30. Campaign bonus is 25. So if you do a regular game right now, you know 20 minutes to max out the gold that they're going to give you, plus the 25 for the campaign, plus the 30 for getting the epic battle, which is like 10 losses on both sides gives you 230 gold or 11.5 gold per minute or 690 an hour. So as you can see, that's about half of what I am targeting to give you guys. We are going to do this on Ewan's Last Stand. Why Ewan's Last Stand? Well, one, it's really easy. Um, as you'll see when I do the videos, it's pretty scripted, so there's not a lot of leeway. And you can also do a rush technique, which means go after the shrine right away instead of trying to kill anybody, really. Um, the reason we're going to do that is because, as you can see on the screen, I'm targeting about two minutes um, to do these on average. Why so short? Well, as you can s do the math in your head real quick, you get 25 no matter what, no matter what time you beat it in. And if you beat it in one minute, you get eight gold, because um, it rounded down from the 8.75, which means you can get 33 gold if you can beat these in a minute which, of course, is 33 gold per minute, which would be amazing. So, as you can see, woefully overconfident, we want to beat that one in two minutes, which would give you 42 gold, or 21 gold per minute. I also have acceptable times on there as three minutes for 51 gold, or 17 gold per minute. Split that up because the two minutes is you know, like when things have to go right, but it is doable repeatedly. That's what all this is about. So also, don't ask me questions about how, oh, I beat it in a minute, and like, yes, you will be able to when things go right, but I want to do something repeatable instead of throwing an exaggerated, bloated number out there. Second is of Ice and Stone. Target time is one minute, as I mentioned, for 33 gold, because you get the 25 no matter what, and only 8 for doing it. Acceptable time is two minutes, you know, if you go over, um, so you still get 42 gold or 21 gold per minute, which is where we want to be. And the breach at the pass is the third one. We want to do it in four minutes for 60 gold or 15 gold per minute. As you can see, it is possible to do it quicker than that, but it is hard to replicate efficiently. Um, there are a couple other ways that I've figured out to do it, but they don't really go with the rest of the theme of this. Um, and I don't want to be showing you guys you know, different decks and stuff like that. 
Um, so this is the most consistent, easiest way. Um, the four minutes isn't a big deal anyway, because as you can see the next one, you can do in one minute and get another 33 gold. So it should not take more than a minute. It's very easy, as you can see when I post the video of it. Um, so your gold, your target time is eight minutes for 168 gold or 21 gold per minute. Or if you do the acceptable times, it's 10 minutes for 186 gold and 18.6 gold per minute. Now, another disclaimer. These target times are in-game time only. So don't go talking about how, oh, it really took nine minutes and all of that. The reason I do that is because I don't want to get into everyone's loading times of the game itself. Um, you know, and clicking in and out. I don't know everyone's internet connections, how it's going to change. So this is in-game time only. All right. Now on to my battle group here. As I mentioned, only about half of it is mandatory. There's only a couple of rules. First rule is you want to be at least half Wrath, half Protector, because you need Wrath for the campaign. So you can see I have 800 lands and 8 forest there for it. Um, but, you know, a lot of the forest spells I want to use. Um, just real quick, we're going to go through it. So you can see, I got a Basilix Templar, which um, is just left over. You don't need that. You don't need the Remnant. You don't need the Consulate. You don't need the Marine. Those are just left over from some other things I threw in there to get my Wrath up. Um, Ember Wasp is something you need. You need Ember Wasp or Imp. The reason is because they have shadow spawn so they come into the game stealthed and they are flying so you don't have to cast those spells as you will see in the tutorials um, we want to be invisible and we want to fly to evade enemies because as i mentioned we're doing a rush technique which means we want to go straight to the shrine you want to have both of those because obviously if you have four of them with that ability you have a better chance of revealing them earlier instead of two of them so i have all four they're really easy to get Next is two Solitary Gars. They're only rare, so they don't cost that much at TCG Bay. Um, you will need to give him, you know, invisibility and flying when you, I show you the videos. But we want him because you can cast him by himself because he is Solitary, so he gains bonuses. He has Siege, so he gains bonuses. And he also gets um, the bonus for your enemies' Nora fonts and stuff like that. So he, you're going to use him to attack the shrines. Also, then you're going to need two Acid Gales, because on two of the levels on the campaigns you have to kill people. And they have a lot of health, so you're going to use Acid Gale and use the enemy's Nora against him. You're going to use two Blessing of Almaris to grant flying to the Solitary Garu. Um, you don't need Brand of Brutality, but I'll show you what it is there. It's just part of, you know, um, gopping my wrath. You do need Infuse, which gives you damage per Nora for one of the levels, as you will see in the video. But once again, those are cheap. Of course, Invisibility, as I mentioned, two of those, pretty cheap. You need a Quickening or Transfusion. I like Quickening because I already have it for Sundered Lands, and it helps with your Wrath, so you need that. Um, and then we have recall which you need you need two of those or other spell um cooldown modifiers but two recalls are great they're cheap just get them i have time slip in here because when you're doing these in real time if you don't get the rune reveals you want it'll speed things up for you and then you're going to want two abelisk of foresights and then finally, I have this in my deck, Templar Brutality, you don't need. So there is my Rune Manager, the battle group that I'm using. Uh, as you can see, it's not that expensive, and it's very easy to find. And the ones that I pointed out are the ones that you need for this. Now in the next videos, I'm going to break it down level by level with the tutorials, and then there's going to be a video at the end that encompasses it all at once, me real time, breaking it through without the explanation. So there you go. Look for the next video.